KLST, your weather authority, sponsored by CC Roofing. Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dr. Athena Masson. Beautiful day out today, even continuing sunset just a couple of hours away, but lots of blue skies to enjoy, not only for today, but well into next week. Temperature right now, 96 degrees still in downtown San Angelo. If there's any good news with this, that dew point and humidity still on the low side. We're dealing mostly with dry weather, nothing moist, not a lot of humidity in the atmosphere, and those winds attempting to keep us cool coming out of the Southeast at 12 miles per hour. Temperatures across the Contra Valley, we are all still in the 90s for this hour. 96 for Robert Lee, 94 out towards Ballinger. Outwards towards the east, hey, Brady, 91 degrees, not too bad. And then looking out towards the west, 93 for Ozona, 92 for Big Lake. And wind speeds, they will start to be picking up during the overnight hours, even gusty at around this hour. Coleman, 15 miles per hour, 17 in Ballinger. Out towards the west, Ozona, Big Lake, 13 miles per hour. Most of these approaching from the east southeast, so with those easterly winds, keeping us a little bit on the cool side, but not too much. Temperatures statewide, it is the weekend. If you are out visiting friends, and family. Enjoy it, but it is just hot statewide. El Paso, 100 degrees at this hour. Not doing too much better in Laredo at 99. Houston, 89 degrees, and all thanks to some scattered showers moving through your area. If you're there, enjoy it, because for the most part, Texas, we remain dry. Looking at your satellite and radar, low pressure trough way off to the east over Louisiana and just slightly over towards eastern Texas. Lots of showers occurring in Houston and all the way down the coast to Brownsville. And then we have this low pressure trough all the way out to the west. Now, this is creating the monsoon season by the four corners. Lots of heavy rain for New Mexico. Unfortunately, this is not going to move eastward. And therefore, Concho Valley, we remain dry. But let's take a little bit of a closer look at what we are dealing with in the atmosphere. Water vapor satellite imagery. We do have moisture all across the state of Texas, and this is what we want. We do not want to see any of this dry air over Nevada and California move into this area. That will diminish all of our rain chances completely. With moisture in the atmosphere starting to wrap around this low pressure trough, we could see some isolated rain chances for tomorrow and all the way into next week. But don't get your hopes up because it's all about the hot temperatures once again. Average for this time of the year, 96 degrees. Tomorrow Tomorrow forecasting 98, slightly cooler, not too much at 97 for Monday, and then up, up, and up. 99 for Wednesday and Thursday, possibly even 100, and definitely forecasting 100, maybe even 101 by the end of next week and next weekend. Evening planner, a very warm 8 p.m., 92 degrees, but another cool start, 65 degrees for tomorrow. Enjoy it because those low temperatures in the 60s starting to go away, and we will be rising back into the 70s. Now for tomorrow, Sunday, grilling forecast. By 9 a.m., pretty pleasant, but getting toasty by noon at 91 degrees. And 5 p.m., just get the ice, everyone. Shut down the barbecue. It is just way too hot. Seven-day forecast, lots of sunshine, windy conditions for tomorrow, and then hot conditions Friday with 100 degrees. We'll have more after the break.